So I'm trying to write the latest episode of Knee of the Curve on biohacking and I've run into a little problem. Everything is biohacking. Like wearing shoes is biohacking. This is Bulletproof Coffee. It's really good uh, because yeah, there's butter in it. Bulletproof Coffee might be the most trendy product in an already trendy field of biohacking and it's coffee. So doesn't that just open it up to a lot more things? And in fact, if you Google biohacking, you'll find supplements and diets. It's completely taken over the entire health and wellness field. I mean, look at all these supplements. Is this? Is this biohacking? I gotta be honest, it would make me feel better if it was biohacking. I put marine collagen in my Bulletproof coffee because that's supposed to be a thing. Uh, it makes it frothy, no fish taste. Is it biohacking? We calling this biohacking now? Biohacking? Biohacking? Biohacking. <laughs> David Sinclair, a researcher at Harvard, said this stuff, NMN, could slow the aging process. So every morning, put a little bit under my tongue. That's gotta be biohacking, right? What better a place than Beverly Hills to talk about biohacking? This is a place you can get your chest done, your butt done, your lips, your neck, your arms, your lower back, your knees. Get those knees done. Nobody wants to look at your saggy knees. Plastic surgery is a total biohack. It's not even necessary. What makes it not a biohack? That it's in a professional setting, in a doctor's office? Uh, I guess if you got breast implants but you did it in your friend's garage, that would be biohacking. I got really into biotech and regenerative medicine because of a back injury that's been real nasty and they can't seem to find the cause of, except for that it's basically just a bunch of tight ligaments and fascia uh, that keep me locked up in this whole area. So I'm actually on my way to physical therapy right now. So much. Oh, I just realized you saw me do a bunch of leg stuff when I had just said my back was hurting, and that's just because that day my knee hurt. Yep. Biohacking is similar to pornography in that it's hard to define, but you know it when you see it. Whew. They put this thing on my legs called uh, BFR. It stands for Blood Flow Restriction Therapy. It's supposed to give you a bunch of growth factors and fatigue you really fast. It's also supposed to help the blood 
wash out some of the swelling, uh, I guess. It feels like you're gonna die or your legs are gonna pop. So I guess if I were to go home and like tourniquet my legs and do some squats, then I'd be biohacking. Who knows what kind of biohacks Trump is doing now that he's got COVID. I bet there's some bleach. There's been some controversies over people doing DIY gene editing and using CRISPR and actually making changes to their genome that they could potentially pass on to their offspring and then it could get out into the wild and then we really have no control. Personally, I'm excited about this type of biohacking because I think it's going to advance the science and if there's a problem in a generation or two with some hack that got out of control, well then, you know, hopefully in a generation or two, we'll be way better at gene editing as a species and we'll be able to just go in and fix those types of things and edit our genome at will to really create a designer person. Designer babies is the headline that everyone talks about, but I'd like to design myself. I want a designer adult technology so that I can like do things to myself right now. Other people might associate biohacking with integrating circuitry into the body and having prosthetics or a Neuralink would definitely be a, a biohack. I just have a big problem with this term biohacking. I'd like some help from you guys to help me figure out what types of things I should focus on for this episode coming up for Need the Curve.